Hey guys, Zar here. Good morning to you. Hope all is well. Happy Thursday, Thursday, September the 12th. We are about to open here on New York. We're about a minute and a half away or so. The usual deal, guys. Again, my job here is to bore the crap out of you by doing and saying the same things every day. Master of a single defined process. Routine, guys. Ritualistic behavior when it comes to your trading. In my experience, it helps traders a lot when they just do the same damn boring thing day in and day out. And uh, it's up to you. I mean, you can try to make this thing a whole lot more interesting if you like and exciting. Get some dopamine shots and dopamine hits. Uh, but that can often lead to very addictive behavior and some, uh, some less than stellar outcomes. Here we go, guys. We're opening in about uh, 45 seconds. This is the two sisters, NASDAQ and S&P, side-by-side, one-minute charts with VWAP. These are two standard deviations uh, on, on, uh, from, the, from the VWAP, the volume-weighted average price. Let's take a look at the daily frame here, guys. The daily charts, again, two sisters, NASDAQ, S&P, left and right. And you can see that we have another up day so far, meaning the high is above yesterday's high and the low is substantially above yesterday's low on both the NASDAQ and the S&P. And for now, we have marginally bullish bodies. So up days, up day and marginally bullish body for now. Uh, that's inside of this kind of a big 17% down move, partial retracement, a, re a resumption of that uh, down move. And then now we're getting this kind of kickback or fire up here of these prices. So we'll see how that pans out here today. Back to the one minute chart. We are open now. You can see that first candle right there and the changing background color for New York. This is my power grid, my trading grid daily chart again up there in the top left hand side. 30 minute on the bottom left and the one minute chart. There it is with the one minute opening range forming on the right hand side. Huge run up yesterday, guys, from top or from bottom to top. It was 650 points approximately. And then we went sideways here through Asia and now so far through the UK. UK, of course, continues to be open. UK, Germany and Europe and what have you. Uh, in four seconds, this candle will end and we will start another candle. It's right there. You see that there? I'm going to drop down to the 32nd chart here, guys, for some more surgical detail. Back to the uh, two sisters. I got to get used to saying two sisters, not three sisters, since I dumped the Dow here in this analysis to simplify things for my followers and my members. And uh, so that's uh, working out, I think, here quite well. We're back into the open range, guys, below EMAs for now, below VWAP for now, and uh, watching this price action very carefully. I'm not going to jump into anything here, guys. Going to be very, very patient here this morning. Just going to let this play out. A uh, big mistake some traders make is to jump all over the first break of the open range as if this is an open range model. And of course, they're, they're, that's a, a legitimate way to trade, but it's not the Razor's Edge model. And that's what uh, you're watching playing out right now. Potentially, if we get a trade, we'll see. I'm going to zoom in here on this 30 minute price action just to get some more detail. I already showed you what <laughs> lurks below. And uh, watching here, I'm not going to do anything here, guys. There's the th two sisters again, almost said three sisters inside the open range on the S&P and coming back into the open range here on the NASDAQ. I'll put you on pause, guys, and bring you back. I'll be cutting out dead air, sideways grinding action, non-teaching moments, things of that nature. Keep this video nice and tight on the things that matter. I'll put you on pause and I'll bring you back. So this is the second break of the open range. First one was down here. Second one was up here, right? Bottom and then top. Again, nothing to do. Flipping bullish now though. 30 second chart. Just watching guys. Two sisters. Just dragging here on the S&P. On the NASDAQ too, of course, as you can see. Flipping up now, guys, on both. Here we go. Buy stop order, guys. Buy stop order. Right here. About to get triggered in. Stop will be below. The low of the day. More aggressive. 
more conservative, I should say. And I'm in, guys. I'll fix this marker in a, in a moment. Be right back. All right, so there's my entry right there. A little choppy here on the open today. Let me show you the two sisters. There's the S&P breaking up above the open range to confirm and align with and synchronize with what's happening here on the NASDAQ. No guarantees on this, guys. We're getting lots of whippy action here. This is a fairly indecisive kind of a open, but I like that we broke below. I like that we broke up. I like that we came back in and then broke up. It's almost like the third time might be the charm sometimes, but not always. Hey guys, we're back. Looks like I'm going to take another charge here this week. It's one of those weeks. Kind of messy here on the open. Choppy, I know a lot of traders are sending me messages saying, what's going on here with the open? And then I have to agree, this is a chop fest. You get this contracting pattern now breaking out to the downside. But it looks almost inevitable that this will be another one-hour charge. I took another one earlier this week. I think it was Monday or Tuesday. Not sure which day. It's there in the uh, YouTube uh, videos and posted on Twitter, of course. Uh, but it looks like another one of those days. We'll see if this can save me here. These two candles right here. And uh, that's kind of like the last ditch hope right there. <laughs> Nothing wrong with hope, guys. Uh, in the right context, in a cool, calm, and collected way. This is all about running a business practice with expenses. And uh, if, I get, if and when I get stopped out on this one, it'll be a routine business expense. Just like any business has. It's not a big deal. It's just one transaction in amongst thousands of transactions and in my close to 40 year uh, now it's probably just over 40 years of trading uh, I've taken well hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of losses I've never counted them but it's all just part of the game it's amazing how well you can do while taking lots of losses also known as business expenses right as I mentioned here it comes and there it is guys right there there's that one hour charge again to start the day. We'll see if anything else happens here. We've got this downside clean traffic. Who knows? It could be an opportunity here on the short side. I'll be back. Talk to you soon. Have an amazing day.